What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video today. So it's finally here, the showcase you've all been waiting for, Rainbow Tech Galdo. Honestly, I don't know how many of you were looking forward to this showcase, but you know what? Whether you like it or not, it's here and uh, we're going to do this. So this is the tech team that we are taking. Obviously, as you can see, I couldn't find a tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly to save my life. So we're going to go ahead and take this LR 1000 Day Goku instead. It's only a 20% difference. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because we are not here to test Goldo's damage. We know that Goldo is not going to be hitting for 500k, 1 mil, 2 mil, okay? His role is not to be doing damage. Rather, he has a more specific more niche role on the Ginyu Force team and I guess on Extreme Tech if you want to run him there as well and that is um, to debuff the enemy so attacked enemies attack and defense minus 20% for two turns if you get additional off that's 40% and obviously if you stack that between two turns it could be up to 80% debuff for attack and defense which can be pretty insane and also his passive causes supreme damage and has a medium chance to stun the enemy which is fantastic medium chance I believe is about 30% I think it's in like 30 between 30 to 50% I'm not 100% sure don't quote me on that but good chance to sun also debuffs the enemy so he is somewhat of a I wouldn't say support but he does have an extra role aside from the traditional hit as hard as possible so that's why we are going to be bringing the 1000 day Goku aside from the fact that I just can't freaking find a Broly friend we need, we need the brand new uh, friend system ASAP on global. Come on Bandai. Just give it to us. Just give it to us. We need it right now Anyways, I'm rambling too much. Let's just jump into this I brought uh, some orb changers a uh, tech type buff attack buff item um, the announcer guy and also uh, what, what are, The burrow cookie the burrow cookie for that fun little nuke showcase even though we're not gonna see any impressive numbers I'm just gonna bring it for fun because why not right? We're gonna do this now. We are in boss rush. We're gonna fight the Goku in the beginning um, I guess today's test really is just to see how well that passive, I mean we'll see what damage you can do which I, like I said it's not going to be crazy. More importantly how effective the debuff is on the enemy. So that's 217k and okay he's going to hit for 250 and he gets the additional off so that's not too bad. Oh yeah for my Goldo I don't know if you guys saw by the way I gave him uh, 7 or was it eight additional and four dodge because he's not really here to do damage, right? So the four additional, uh, well, the eight additional will allow him to double attack sometimes and debuff the enemy twice. And also the dodge is just there to give him a little bit more usefulness to, you know, maybe dodge once in a while and reduce the damage that the team takes. Obviously, like I said in the last video, um, should we link up here? Oh, this is good. So like I said in the last video, uh, never mind. We're going to put him uh, it doesn't really matter why am I spending so much time on this <laughs> so like I said in the last video these Ginyu Force guys are definitely best like optimal on the Ginyu Force team or even Namek Saga team they don't do too well usually on well at least most of them don't do too well on the uh, mono type teams right the extreme int the extreme tech extreme whatever but some of them actually solid Goldo is not really one of those. I wouldn't really suggest running him on an extreme. I mean, if you really want to, you can use him as a sub. If you're a newer player, don't have a lot of extreme tech units. But I don't think he's that good of a sub, even as a solid free-to-play option. So, um, you know, we're just, we're just having fun with him today. Like I said, I wanted to showcase all of the Ginyu Force members, which is why we're doing this today. But honestly, I would not be running him on extreme tech ever if I didn't need to for this showcase. And uh, yeah, he, he, he he's not, doesn't seem to be too great. Oh, he got the dodge off though. Hey, look at that. <laughs> he got the dodge off. That that was super clutch. And he's going to hit for 233k, which is actually not. Oh, and he got the stun off, guys. He got the stun off. Okay, see, there you go. There you go. I was talking some shit about Goldo, and he was like, yo, let me show you what I can do, man. So he got the stun. He got the additional. I mean, he got the dodge. Yo, that's, that's, that's not bad, actually. <laughs> you know what, Goldo? Maybe I spoke too soon about you. So uh, he, he showed out for us a little bit there. Um, oh, we got a text message. I don't know if you guys can see that actually because it's coming through. Anyways, don't worry about that. We got a text, but that's not important. Um, let's put him here. And we'll give him those orbs. 
By the way, for all of you who joined in on the live stream today, thank you so much. It was the stream to grind the Galdo to uh, Rainbow. And what I've decided from today is that every single day for the rest of the week, I'm going to be doing a live stream around noon Eastern Standard Time, maybe 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, the whole stream is just going to be me grinding that specific unit of the Ginyu Force to Rainbow status. And then I'll be doing the showcase at night in the afternoon. This one is a little bit late for my liking at least. I wanted to put it up around like... 6 p.m. but it's more likely from the looks of it since it's currently 5 o'clock where I'm filming that we will be able to get it up maybe around let's see what Goldo can do by the way he is gonna hit for probably around 400 384k and the additional let's see how much he can tank for because he did just debuff Goku's attack and he tanked that for a 1.4k which isn't too bad honestly not too bad at all um all right. Oh, and uh, he got stunned again. So there's very, very. It seems like the stun is quite, quite, you know, effective. I did <laughs> want to mention, by the way, that the Turles also also stuns. But I'm pretty sure that was the Goldo stun before. Um, but Turles does stun, so it's gonna be a little bit weird in the showcase where like the enemy is probably most likely gonna be stunned because there's two stunners that are, you know, have a, having a decent chance to get their passes off at the same time. Nonetheless, Goldo seems to be stunning pretty often, so that, that's that's one thing to note. Definitely one thing, one good thing to note about him. Um, but uh, what, what, what was I saying before? What was I saying before? Something about doing the oh yeah, the showcase, right? I wanted to get it up before 6 p.m. and I'm gonna try to stick to that schedule for the rest of the week for Ginyu, Jace, and Raccoon. But today I was struggling with this team because I didn't have anyone with Shattering the Limit. I was like, I need someone with Shattering the Limit to make sure that Goldo gets a super attack off. Otherwise, this video is gonna be, you know, not so useful if you <laughs> if you never see Goldo get a super off, right? But um, it turns out that I had no Shattering the Limit Extreme Tech units awakened, and the only one that I could awaken was Turles, right? So I could awaken the Turles, but issue, main problem. I didn't have enough Gregory medals. And I talked about this in my stream too. I am constantly just perpetually running out of, um, what do you call it? It's running out of Gregory medals. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. Like, you can't, far, I'm not gonna run the medal stage a million times to get those Gregory medals. So the only thing you can do is wait for the Baba Shop to, to, to you know, to make some available. And sometimes the Baba Shop resets, and it's not available. So I had to keep waiting. And that's why this video is late. Uh, let's see what Goldo can do. Can he get the stun off? So I actually put um, the attack for Turles on the Shasami or Sashimi, whatever he's called, so that we can see who stunned who. Did he get the stun off though? I can't tell. We'll see after this turn is over. Uh, looks like... Oh yeah, Frieza's stun! Look at that! Okay, so Frieza was attacked by the Goldo, so that was definitely, definitely a Goldo stun. And... Sashimi's dead, so, <laughs> so it looks like um, we can't tell if Turl is stunned, which doesn't really matter. We're not here to showcase, showcase Turl, blah, 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 Words hard. Words are really hard. Um, but yeah, we haven't... We, it doesn't matter because we're not here to showcase the Turles. We are here to showcase the Goldo, who is showing out. He's proving me wrong with that stun. Um, getting a lot of stuns off over and over again. Looks like that medium chance might be a little bit higher than I thought. Is it 50% guys? I don't really know. I'm gonna have to go look it up after, but I'm not gonna do it during the filming. It looks like it is a decent chance though. It's, it's, it's kind of weird, like some units seem to be to benefit more from specific traits than others. For example, um, I feel like certain units like uh, Tech Vegito Blue, not, not Tech Vegito Blue, L LR Vegito Blue, this STR one, he seems to be critting a lot more than average versus like even other units with level 20 critical. So to me, it feels like he benefits more from the critical. I know this could all be just like conspiracy theories and like, you know, not, not, not no credence to any of it, but that's what it feels like to me at least. Did, did, did uh, Goldo just stun Sorbet as well? That's Sorbet, right? I'm pretty sure he's Sorbet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Sorbet, but that's a lot of stuns, guys. That's a lot of stuns. Unless it was Turles. I, I didn't pay attention there. I was talking. <laughs> but it looks like uh, Turles is stunning a lot. So it leads me to think that maybe, you know, maybe the... Oh, did I say Turles or Galdo? It looks like Galdo is stunning a lot. So maybe it looks like his medium chance to stun is higher than other people's medium chance to stun. I don't know, guys. At the end of the day, some people are just going to be curious. They're going to be like, hey, 
it is what it says. Okay, if it's 40%, it's 40%. If it's 30%, it's 30%. And that's it. That's all there is to talk about. There's no conspiracy theory here. And some other people might, might, might you know, kind of lend credence to what I'm saying. They'd be like, hey, man, like, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. I feel like maybe, um, you know, certain units will get more out of, like, crits and additionals and dodge and all those things. Hey, we got a Doken attack off with our gold, though. Let's see what this guy can do here. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. I always get nervous, I always get nervous when I do this in showcases because I'm like, if I miss, you know, it, it, it's not gonna be as, you know, optimal in terms of damage output. And I'm also nervous in the video because I, okay, 459K, all right, all right. And can, oh man, I, I didn't check if he, if uh, Goldo got the stun off now, so it could have been Goldo or Turles. But anyways, anyways, I think, I think we can see that Galdo does stun quite often, even though we have the tier list there. <laughs> Maybe that was a bad call on my end, but I'm not gonna restart this showcase, guys. It's it's not that serious. It's not that serious. The, the Galdo showcase is really here just for fun. Like I said, I promised to do one for each of the Ginyu Force members. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow for Captain Ginyu. It's gonna be a little bit more exciting because Captain Ginyu is quite the monster and we will be testing for damage output there because he is the main damage dealer for the Ginyu Force. And um, also, he's just like a solid unit. Like, <laughs> his passive is actually really solid. I'm gonna be rainbowing that guy ASAP on my stream. Make sure you tune in tomorrow as well if you haven't. Or maybe if you did today, then, you know, make sure you tune in. If you didn't today, then try your best to tune in for tomorrow's stream. Like I said, around 12, like noon Eastern Standard Time, um, possibly a little bit later, 1 p.m., maybe, depending on what time I have. I'll let you guys know in the community chat. Um, and also, or like like a community post, you know what I mean? Like the, the community post you see on your phone or on Instagram or probably both. So if you want to follow me on Instagram at Tiger Uppercut Media, feel free to do so and you will also be updated there. Um, I also just post other stuff too, like other fun things. Uh, by the way, I just noticed that the Galdo is actually doing quite a bit more damage than the Turles. The Turles gets a 60% attack buff on his passive for seven turns. So I, I don't think that seven turns has passed yet. Maybe, maybe has, I don't know. I don't know at this point, but the point is, the point is, um, Goldo at least is doing more damage than my Turles, right? <laughs> and the Turles is a do is a summonable unit, I believe, while the Goldo is a free-to-play unit, so maybe I was wrong. Oh, at the same time, the Goldo is as the SA-10. Yeah, you're right, no, 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 Tiger, you're right, yeah, okay, so <laughs> I just convinced myself out of what I was saying. Essentially, Goldo is at SA-10. If the Turles was at SA-10, he would do way more damage than the Galdo, so forget what I said there. Forget what I said. We're just having fun here, guys. We're just having fun. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna make some mistakes. We're gonna say some stupid things. I tend to say a lot of stupid things. I own up to it. <laughs> but let's just finish out this showcase. Can we get the stun off with the, um, with the Galdo? With the Galdo. Let's do it. And uh, now I, <laughs> I just realized now how a, a good way to tell whether or not the Galdo get the stun off, gets the stun off, because if Galdo attacks first, and then Goku Black doesn't attack, or why am I saying Goku Black? I'm using Goku Black. Yeah, there we go. So there was no stun with the Galdo because um, Golden Frieza is still attacking, right? So if Golden Frieza couldn't attack anymore, then that would mean that Galdo did get the stun off. Why didn't I think of that? Why, why did I not think of that? that? That was really dumb of me. Like I said, a lot of dumb things will be done on this stream. <laughs> on this stream, in this video. And uh, that's okay, you guys accept that. You guys know, you know how I am, you know, I don't take anything too seriously, and I hope you guys don't take anything too seriously as well, because we're just here to have fun. This That's what this game is all about. And that's what games in general are all about. I know people get really triggered over things in games, especially gacha games, you know, if you don't pull a specific unit that you really want, some people rage, get really angry, very upset, and things like that, but guys, at the end of the day, it's just a game, right? Like game is supposed to be fun and if it's not bringing you fun anymore then maybe you should stop playing it you know what I mean uh, we just killed the Frieza and I didn't mean to actually it's fine he has another form okay good 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 so what I'm gonna do now is uh, use a Deborah cookie boom okay, Deborah cookie and we're also gonna use the announcer tournament announcer item here we go. We didn't get that many physical orbs, so it's not gonna be like a crazy, crazy nuke, but nonetheless, it's gonna be a Goldo nuke, and I can't complain about that. Nobody can complain about a Goldo nuke. Here we go. Take those orbs. Okay, this should finish it out. Let's see what Goldo can do for us. 
336k, alright, and it's gonna get 589k to end off the video. That's half a million from Galdo, which is a lot higher than you're most likely gonna see on average. <laughs> like I said, Galdo is not the damage dealer here, right? His role is to be a support-ish kind of thing, you know, he like dodges a little bit, he will debuff, he will stun, so he will have utility, especially on a Ginyu Force team. Um, I, I, I regress, you know, I'm on, or digress, I regress, digress, I don't know, I take back what I said about him initially, about how he wouldn't be a good sub, it's like, if, if you are a fairly new player, you don't have a lot of extreme tech units, you want to run extreme tech team, then Goldo could be, you know, somewhat of a decent, at least decent, um, sub until you get something nicer, so, um, I, I, I take back what I said about him, I think he's okay. At the end of the day, most people will not be running him aside from the Ginyu Force team, and that is where he really shines. So I can't wait for LR Ginyu to actually come out. Well, well, I guess I can't wait for all the other Ginyu Force units to be unavailable, so we can rainbow all of them, and get the LR Ginyu at the end so we can run the full team in its full glory. But uh, that's it, guys. That's going to be all... That's going to be the entire showcase today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for Captain Ginyu tomorrow, the main damage dealer of the Ginyu Force team. And uh, he's going to be a lot of fun to showcase. So join in on the stream tomorrow, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Somewhere around there, I'll let you guys know through the community posts and through Instagram. And uh, as always, you know, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see, consider hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah.